In this video, I'm going to show you five simple tips and small adjustments that you can make to make you look great and feel more confident when you're on your Zoom call with or without makeup. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Trixie. In this channel, I upload videos that talk about self-improvement, lifestyle, and just everything good vibes. Okay, so today we are talking about how to look good and feel confident in Zoom. But before that, I wanted to share with you really quickly this beautiful sustainable jewelry that I'm wearing that's totally making me feel extra great today. These are from a brand called Ana Luisa. I'm wearing their Suzanne medium earrings and this beautiful Isadora necklace that I'm so in love with. I've instantly fallen in love with the Ana Luisa brand right when I came across their website because their pieces are not just beautiful, they're not just affordable, but they're earth friendly as well. Their jewelry is made of recycled materials, so when you wear them, you just don't look good, but you feel good as well. That's actually why I've decided to collaborate with them. This part of the video is actually sponsored by Ana Luisa, so thank you so much. But yeah, I wanted to share this with you guys because they're currently running an exclusive Valentine's Day sale wherein you get 15% off all their products. If you want to check them out, I will put a link down in the description box below. They have sustainable jewelry starting from $39 ranging up to the higher end pieces, so there's really something for everyone. I got a few more gorgeous pieces from them. I wore some of them just to show you. But yeah, I have the smaller version of the Suzanne earrings. This retails for $59, but will be $50 with the sale. Also, I have these gorgeous Paris earrings. They're twisted hoop earrings that retail for $75, but with a discount, it's just gonna be $64. And last but not least will be this super beautiful Miche necklace. This is so simple but elegant, which is so perfect for everyday jewelry. This retails for $99, but will only be $84 with a discount. What I like about the Miche necklace and this Isadora necklace is that you can switch them and then layer so you get a different stylish look. This Isadora necklace that I'm wearing is actually $99. That's the original price. And the Suzanne medium earrings is $89 for the original price. But of course, they will both cost less with the sale. I really think these pieces are a fantastic gift for yourself and for the ones you love, even after Valentine's Day. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you so you don't forget to take advantage of the 15% off in their exclusive sale. You can use my link in the description box below. That actually leads us to our first tip in looking good and feeling confident in Zoom, which is to make sure that you feel good from within you through preparation. A lot time to prepare for your Zoom call, whether you're the host or not. I like allotting about 15 to 30 minutes before joining a call so I can freshen up, prepare my pen and notebook if it's a meeting that needs taking down notes, and set up my laptop so that I'm ready with the link or meeting ID and password. If I'm hosting, I make sure I list down everything that I want to happen in the meeting because when we're prepared, we have the assurance that we are not forgetting anything which gives us the confidence for the call. Plus, you won't look stressed out. Second tip is to make sure that your camera is positioned right. I like creating my own meeting a few minutes before the actual call so that I can see how I look in my camera. Okay, so we're just gonna click new meeting. I make sure the camera is on and check from here. So the most common mistake is having the camera below eye level like this one. Some people even have it like here on their laps like this one. So you kind of don't want this kind of angle, especially if it's a special meeting or a special call because all the people will see is your chin and it kind of makes the lower part of your face look wide when it's really not. So what we want is for our camera to be up here, it should be a little bit above your eye level. So since my table is low, what I usually do is I use our flat printer, I use some books or I use boxes like these to put under the laptop as a base so that it raises my camera. So actually let's try it. Okay, so it's on top of four tissue boxes. What I wanna do is to bend my camera a little bit towards me so that it gives a perfect angle like this. 
So yeah, it gives you a way better angle than earlier. Also, you want to make sure that you have enough headroom up here so that you're not super close to the camera like this one where your head is cut or like super far. Yeah, I would put it like this. I think this is the best angle. Okay, third tip is to make sure that you have good lighting. For this one, we have four options. First, my suggestion is that when it's daytime where you live and it's not gloomy there, try to make use of the natural lighting. So if you want to do your Zoom call, do it close to a window so you get that natural lighting from outside. That really helps. Second option is to use a ring light. A lot of people bought ring lights during quarantine because they go on Zoom often. But if you're just going to go on a regular Zoom call, you don't need to buy that. I'm using the umbrella type of lighting, but I've had this for a long time and I use it for my video. Videos, so that's why I have it. But if you want to go that route, that's okay too. I will link down in the description box below some ring lights and the equipment I use. Third option is to simply use the lights you have at home. You can use a lamp or you can just look for a room that's well lit and do your Zoom call there. Fourth option, which I think is the best one, is using the feature in Zoom that helps you brighten your video. All you have to do is to go to this little arrow here beside the video icon, click on that, click, click on video settings. Let me just move this here. And down here, you will see adjust for low light. And you can see mine set in auto. You can do auto or you can do manual as well. So if it's in manual, you can just do this or make it brighter like this. But obviously that's too bright. But yeah, you can use this so when it's dark where you're at, you can simply brighten the video here. I'll just put mine back in auto for now. So yeah, those are the four options for your lighting. Fourth tip is to use Zoom's touch-up feature. This is totally optional, but I usually use this when I don't want to put makeup on. To use the touch-up feature, all you gotta do is hover onto the left side where this video icon is on and then click on the arrow beside it click on video settings like what we did for the lighting earlier and just right above that box where we did the lighting earlier you will see touch up my appearance let me actually show you here if it shows a little bit so this is without the touch up feature when you click on it see how it makes my skin smoother so basically that's what it does it makes your face glow a little bit and your skin smoother like this let me adjust it so you so that you can see more okay so this is the adjusted one see how i'm all smooth this is without the touch-up feature and this is with the touch-up feature without and with but yeah, as I said earlier, you can adjust it if you don't want too smooth and too fake like this. You can just put this, slide this to the middle, and there you go. Also, if you don't have makeup and you want to go all out with Zoom features, they also have filters. Let me show you. This is just a side note. They do have filters here. You just have to go to background and filters over here. This is still in the settings. And then you'll see if you go to video filters, you'll see different kinds of filters here that you can play around with. You can do black and white, you can do this, you can do this. And they have like characters, animals, and all the other filters here too. Like this one. There's a lot to play around with. They have so much cute filters here. But the one I was talking about, the makeup one, will be here in Studio Effects Beta. So just click on that. It'll show on the right side all these. So you have eyebrows, mustache, and beard, and then lip color. So let's play around with it really quick. These are the eyebrows. It's actually not bad like that, but when you go closer, you'll see that it's kind of dislocated. See, especially when you move. It kind of moves away from the actual eyebrow too, so I kind of don't like using it. But it's fun to play around with though. And you can also pick your lip color. So if I forget to put on lipstick, I can just put these on. The lipstick is actually not that bad. 
It's just the eyebrows that I'm having a problem with. But yeah, if you don't have makeup, Zoom can definitely do it for you. I'm not sure if everyone has that already or like just certain laptops or certain accounts. But what I suggest is that you go ahead and create your own meeting and check first before going into an actual call. The fifth and last tip is preparing your background to complete the whole look of your Zoom frame. So three things on this one. First is to look for a spot in your house which you think will look good on camera. Like this one that I use all the time for most of my videos. Second is you can create your own setup or backdrop if you want. Third will be using a virtual background. So you just go to this left side where the video icon is on again. Click on the same arrow we clicked on before. And right here you'll see choose virtual background. And you'll see a few choices of backgrounds here. But you can also add your own by clicking this plus sign. Let's just use one of the ones here. So once you select it, you just have to close out of this and voila! This will be perfect too if like your room is not that tidy at least the virtual background can hide it but of course you have to pick the perfect virtual background for the type of meeting that you'll be on those are just some simple tips on how to look great and feel confident in zoom but of course it goes without saying that what's more important is the content of your call and the relationships that you build in zoom the tips are just something extra so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video again don't forget to take advantage of the 15 percent discount from ana luisa you can use my link down in the description box below together let's make happiness happen every day and live the lives we love i'll see you on the next one